everyone so I wanted to get on here today and do a haul video I kind of had to dig it all out because at a point I had um, decided to stop doing haul videos because they always got um, downrated or disliked or whatever so um, I asked you guys on Twitter and I had a few people say that they wanted to see it anyways so I kind of dug everything out, so this is kind of going to be a collective haul. Um, it is going to be a collective haul, and I'm hoping that I can get through all of it. Now, I just want to explain the reason that I do hauls. I do not do hauls to brag. I do not do hauls um, for any of that stuff. I do hauls to let you guys know what I have, so down in the comments you can actually request reviews on any of the products that I haul. So, that's why I do hauls, just throwing that out there. Um, but, first of all, I do always get a lot of questions about what's on my nails and what's on my lips. So, I'm going to start trying to do that. Um, let you guys know what I'm wearing before I start my video. So, on my nails, I have on um, Sinful Colors Let's Talk. It's just a really pretty purpley blue color and on my lips I have the Rimmel Easton Snob um, as my liner and colored in and then over that I have um, the lipstick that Michelle sent me the P2 Rodeo Drive so now that that's all said and done I want to get into the haul yay so first of all I'm gonna go through nail polishes just quite a bit here I'm not gonna go into detail like I said, if you want to reviews, just let me know and I'll be happy to do that. Um, I picked up the Wet n Wild Duo in Prancer and then the, just the clear nail protector that looks really great over black. Um, then I picked up the China Glaze Christmas Collection and I had to order it off eBay because it was sold out everywhere. Um, but I got, what is this, Party Hardy, and then this one is Fat Santa, very pretty. This one is Peace on Earth, Doug hates this one, he thinks that it looks like baby poop, he hates when I put it on my nails. And then this one is Jolly Holly. I'm hoping you guys can see these well. So, it's just a really dark green. Then I picked up a couple more things, nail wise. Um, I picked up this last night because I'm just so tired of like winter that I want it to be warmer outside. By the way, it's freezing here today. It is like three degrees and I hate it, but um, for some reason my Walmart sells Essie now. I don't know if you guys' Walmart does, but mine does. So um, I picked up Essie Turquoise in Caicos. It's just a really pretty turquoise color. Um, then I picked up the Hard Candy um, Just Nails Matte mattly in love you put it over any nail polish and it turns it matte as a top coat and then i picked up the nail teaks um, nail protein in formula 2 plus because i decided to stop wearing my fake nails and try to grow my real ones out so we're gonna see how this works so far not so good then i also i had heard someone talk about this i'm not quite sure i remember who but um I picked up the Sally Hansen Mega Shine Top Coat. It's supposed to make your um, nail polish last up to 10 days. So um, after I'm done with this treatment, I'll be trying that one. So, what's next? I've got so much stuff over here, it's ridiculous. Um, I picked up the Maybelline um, Stylish Smokes and Amethyst Smokes. So this is what the top two look like, uh, a little bit better, swatches, and then let me wipe those off, and then the bottom two 
Mm, it's okay. I'm not as impressed with it as I was the natural smokes, but that's okay. And um, I was my favorite foundation ever is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but I wasn't sure of my color, so I went and I got matched. And I just want you guys to know that this is what they gave me. Now, my fa I've been having trouble finding a foundation that matches me because I am, like, extremely pale right now. I picked up this foundation, which is my favorite foundation, drugstore-wise. And it was the lightest one that they carried, which is Porcelain Ivory. It's the Maybelline Superstay. But I went, and this is what they matched me. They told me that my color was in Espresso. Can you guys see that? I'm hoping you guys can. This is what they matched me. Right there. That does not look like my skin tone at all. I put it on, tried to blend it in, tried to make it work. It just wasn't happening. Then I also picked up um, the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer like that and I am wearing that today um, if you want to review just let me know I picked up the wet n wild gel eyeliner in black um, I picked up two mascaras the um, one that I always seem to go back to which is the L'Oreal telescopic in carbon black this was my favorite for years. And then I also picked up the Maybelline One by One Volume Express. I picked up um, a contour color because I needed a different one because, like I said, I am so pale now that I can't even find a foundation that will match my skin. Um, I picked up the NYC Smoothie Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. Pretty good color for my skin right now. And then on to I like don't know what to grab next. I picked the uh, like I had heard so much about it that I had to see what the hype was. The L'Oreal um, Carbon Black, Black Linear Intense. And it is pretty black. You guys know how I am with my eyeliners. So there it is. Like, look how bad that does not match me. It's ridiculous. Okay. They were having a sale on Lorac on Hot Look. So I picked up some stuff. And then also um, a Pop Beauty. This is from Pop, Pop Beauty. And it's called Plum Popper. And those are all the colors in it. And then, um, you guys know how I am with my greens. I'm obsessed with greens. Um, I picked up this Lorac I It Kit in Love and Money. And, let's see if I can swatch those. Very soft eyeshadows. Like a lime green and then like a, a forest kind of green. Very pretty. Um, and then I picked up this. It's the Lorac On Screen Duo. And it's got the um, eyeshadow on top. And it kind of like swivels. And this is in Champagne and Caviar. Their eyeshadows are so soft. So that's like a champagne type color. And then I'm guessing this is a gel liner or you could use it for a base. And it's just like a... Um, kind of like a gray color. Very pretty. Then, I, where, were, where did I get these? They were having a sell on Wet n Wild at Walgreens. So, these are so hard to open. I picked up the Walking on Eggshells Trio. Let's see if I can... That's just one swipe. And then I picked up two more blushes because I fell in love with the 
Heather Silk because it was really pigmented and these are as well but I will say that this packaging is so so hard to open this one is in Mellow Wine and then this one is pearlescent pink oh I'm at 10 minutes already that's what that one looks like then I went ahead and picked up some more makeup remover wipes my skin has been like a desert so um, I got the Neutrogena makeup remover hydrating wipes and more Wet n Wild that I didn't see sitting over there. I picked up the Wet n Wild Ultimate um, Bronzer and the dupe for the Stereo Rose, which is um, Amber Glow. Looks like that. So, um... If you have a Walgreens, go check those out because they are 50% off right now. I picked up some lip stuff and I got the Aquaphor um, Healing Ointment for nighttime stuff. I picked up the um, Neosporin Lip Health Daily Hydration Therapy with SPF 20. Um, and then the Hip Jelly Balm and Plush. Very nice. Okay, I'm trying to get through all this before I run out of time. I picked up the um, Equate Aloe Fresh, Aloe Cool and Fresh Body Lotion, the big guy. I was using the Vaseline. I checked the ingredients are exactly the same for this one. Um, and some more clips for my nightmarish hair. These actually hold my hair, which is good. Um, also, I picked up a backup of my favorite new obsession, which is the Avi Evian Facial Mist. I love to take that to the gym with me. I picked up the Burt's Bees Thoroughly Therapeutic Honey and Bilberry Foot Lotion. Um, some at Walgreens, I picked up the Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream. I heard this was good for treating acne, so we're going to give that a go. And also to treat my dry skin overnight, um, I picked up the Yes to Carrots Nourishing Repairing Night Cream. And what am I at? 12. Two lipsticks the L'Oreal Ferris Nude. Such messy swatches. So that's good because I'm extremely pale. And then I picked up the Revlon Just Enough Buff, which I can't stand. It's like ridiculous. It's right there. It looks ridiculous on me. Um, then I picked up some stuff for my hair because I've been having horrible, horrible, horrible experiences with my hair. So I picked up the Garnier Fructis, um Triple Nutrition 3 fruit oils, olive, avocado, and shea for dry to over dry or damaged hair. This one that you just shake up. Then I picked up the Brilliantine Glossing Shine Spray. Um, I picked up some more Witch Hazel for my face. This is what I use for a toner. It's great for sensitive skin. Um, I picked up the Chi Keratin Mist, because I've heard good things about this. And the L'Oreal Technique Nature's Therapy Mega Smooth Anti-Frizz Taming Mist for Unruly Frizzy Hair. It looks like that. Um, I also picked up some more hair stuff. Like I said, I've been having problems with my hair. Um, the Regis Design Line Frizz Free Serum High Gloss Tamer. And I picked up the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk, which I do have in my hair today. And the L'Oreal Techniques Nature's Therapy um, Mega Smooth Moisturizing Pomade for flyaways. 
so that is it. I know it's kind of a long video, but I do these so that you guys can request reviews on anything. So if you want a review on anything, just leave it down below. 